Hello Internet, welcome to another calculator learning tutorial. Uh, I'm covering the features of Casio FX991EX class base calculator and today we'll focus on the problem of creating a number table out of uh, two equations. Now this calculator is, as we already discussed, is a lot better than and the Casio FX 991ES uh, in which we did not have this function so let us say we have two equations FX represented by X squared plus half and GX is represented by X squared minus half <coughs> and we want to calculate or rather draw a table by substituting the values of x from from minus 1 to 1 in one case and from 1 to 5 in another case when we when we want to substitute the values from minus 1 to 1 we want to keep the step size to be equivalent to 0.5 and in the other case we want the step size to be equivalent to 1 <coughs> So let me just tell you how exactly we can do that. So we go to all right, we go to the menu by pressing the menu and there we find the option for table. You can press 9 or press the equal sign to go into table. Now here um, you need to uh, press shift and then menu and then you could scroll down to the option of table press 2 and it will ask you to make a choice whether you want to work with one equation or two equations so I'll say 2 and now the first equation is x squared plus half so what we do is I'll press alpha and then x and then I'll press square and the plus sign then 1 and this is my first equation my second equation would be minus half <coughs> <coughs> now it will ask you to put in the values for the table range I'll say my start point is 1 the end point is 5 and the step I need to take is 1 incremental step so I'll say ok equal gives me the table So you can see if you put the value of x is equal to 1 in fx it gives you 1.5 in gx it gives you 0.5 so I'll go back to menu table I'll select x square plus and the same equations but I'll change the starting point to be minus 1 and I'll press equal and the end point to be equivalent to 1 and I want the step size to be 0.5 so it is plotting me a table starting from minus 1 to 0.5 to 0 to 0.5 and 1 so 
so that is how you can create tables from equations using this calculator and I hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was uh, click on the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching your very very good day and a good life bye bye